can turn the world on with a smile You can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile But it's a girl and you should know it With each words and every little movement you show it Love is all around, no need to fake it You can never it down, why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after all Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Today is Thursday, March 15th, and as of today, Mark has 845 days left to serve in his U.S. sentence. That's until his early release date of July 9th, 2014, some days right before our eighth wedding anniversary. So we're, of course, counting down the days one by one, and it feels good to get them behind us each day. Mark sent me in the mail uh, his concert poster for when his band Yazoo performed at the prison on President's Day. So I got this in the mail and it's the President's Day weekend concert and they really do play outside and perform for other inmates and it's sponsored by the Recreation Department <laughs> which is where Mark actually works for, that's his job there at the Rec Department. He takes care of handing out guitars, replacing the strings, and all that sort of stuff. And on Saturday, he was playing between 6 and 7.45. There's his band, Yazoo, playing there and with other bands too. And today, actually, Mark has to go for the audition because apparently the prison has to make sure that every band passes an audition and has enough band members to justify signing up for practice time and the instruments and all that. So Mark said that Mr. Booth, the uh, recreation um, head, the specialist there, he really likes Mark's band, so he is going to pass them for sure. But today, maybe even right now, Mark is jamming out on his bass guitar. And uh, man, it'll be something to see him come home and play. I just can't imagine it. So if you want to see what songs Mark played at this concert, his previous blog uh, on CannabisCulture.com and FreeMark.ca lists the songs and tells you about other news about his band. That's two blog entries back. The most recent one he had was about the Conservatives and Republicans and wondering why, oh why, are they so crazy, you know? But go check that out, freemark.ca and cannabisculture.com. Of course, you can always find his address there to send him a letter. He definitely appreciates it. I forgot to mention on my show last week that I had spoken the previous Sunday at the Hempology Convention at the University of British Columbia. Hempology was started by Ted Smith, a really hardcore activist in Victoria on Vancouver Island right over the water from us. And he's been going strong doing Hempology for a very long time. They have meetings at the University of Victoria where he educates about prohibition and hemp and all sorts of stuff, medical marijuana, brings in different experts. And he's been doing conventions at UVic for quite a few years and has started doing them here in Vancouver at UBC and also back on the island at another university where Mark and I have been before too. So there's videos online, you can check those out, just search for Hempology. Chris Bennett spoke, our dear friend and religious scholar documenting the historical uses of cannabis in mankind's history. He spoke as well as Dr. Hornby about um, decarboxylization and different sort of things going on with cannabis medicine. And also Randy Kane, who is a longtime activist here too, facing charges for running a dispensary. So you can see those videos in my speech about Mark and private prisons and what's happening in Canada by Googling or looking up Hempology or go to hempology.ca and you can get information about all the other things they do and all the events coming up. But I just wanted to give a big thanks to Ted Smith and his beautiful, wonderful, brave wife, Gail, uh, for inviting me and for organizing these events. It's really awesome, so keep up the great work. Local government is where the message starts and moves up the chain to the federal government. So do what you can to make a difference on that front and uh, let me know of any news from where you are with the same sort of stuff going on. And I also want to thank, of course, Stop the Violence BC. This is a new organization, fairly new. It's been a bit now, actually, but uh, they're working with a lot of others to make this happen. So check out StopTheViolenceBC.org and that address will be in the information bar below as well. Other news for coming up events, uh, I'll be speaking on the 31st Saturday at a event about cannabis hosted by the Federal Liberal Party of Canada. The Liberal Party Association for Vancouver East has been meeting with me and we've been talking about this and they're big supporters of ending prohibition and as we know, 
the federal Liberal Party of Canada passed a resolution saying they support legalization, and that was at their last big convention. So the Liberal Party formally supports legalization of marijuana, and there are many Liberal Party members who have been working hard to make that happen and to make other things happen too. So I've been invited and I'm happy to accept speaking at an event being held on the 31st. It's going to be at the Hastings Community Center between 1.30 and 3.30 and I'll be speaking along with someone from LEAP as well as someone who's with the Liberal Party and I'll get more and more details to share with you because we're just solidifying it now but I'll be sure to let you know in my next show more specifics. And of course, it's a great honor to be invited to speak about this issue. And I try to do my best every time to get our message out there. And I'll be speaking a lot about the personal impact of the war on drugs because there is a lot to say that others can speak on about medical marijuana or about prohibition and the cost of law enforcement and all that. But I think the reason I can bring something unique is because I have lost my husband to this drug war I'm going to get him back, of course, but these years won't be, we won't be able to get these years back that he's been gone. And so I'll talk about the impact on families that I've witnessed and seen myself in others who have also suffered. So that's what I'll be talking about. And if you're in Vancouver, hopefully you can come out and support them because regardless of what party is pushing our message, they deserve our support. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. If the conservatives, hey, if you want to join our cause and tell people prohibition is a failure, I'll tell people to support the conservatives on that issue. But um, right now, very much an enemy. And of course, Bill C-10 just passed, so mandatory minimums are now about to become law in Canada. It's been passed by our parliament and will be um, put into force and effect in the coming months. So boo for the conservatives doing that, shame on them. and. Many bad things are going to come out of that, but it also will encourage more people to take action and do good things. So that's one of the positive parts. They have to push us real hard to get us to push back, right? So we'll see what happens. We're not going to give up. It'll just be more exciting years ahead to uh, fight these bad guys off. I wanted to remind you all to check out CannabisCulture.com. There's a lot of news stories there. I try and give you just a few in my show. It's really hard to cover Mark and my own work and other things going on here and the rest of the world. But right now we've got stories out of uh, Florida has medical marijuana stuff going on. We've got California has some places shutting down. We've got Colombia saying that they want, want to decriminalize. So there's a whole lot of news and you can always get the stories at CannabisCulture.com. And I want to share with you one brief story, or it's not a brief story, but Angel Rach, you may not have heard of her in recent years, but back when I first got involved in this movement, Angel suffers from cancer and uh, she's actually been given the final word that she doesn't have long to go but she has been fighting very long and hard for the right for medical marijuana she even went to the supreme court of the united states to try and fight for medical marijuana unfortunately she lost that argument and that's why medical marijuana still isn't allowed in federal defenses but she worked hard and she paid her dues and she has suffered greatly and continues to suffer what's happened is that she's been given word that she doesn't have long left to live and she's accepting that with a lot of grace and bravery um, as many people do have and I admire that strength but she was made to leave the hospital she was staying at because she was trying to consume cannabis and even when asked the hospital was asked if vaporization would be okay they said no because harmful part particles will be floating in the air and they made her leave they threatened to call the federal government to come arrest this dying sick woman and Angel is so brave, so if you want to check out her work, you can easily Google her name, Angel Rach. Um, very strong. Send her some love and support. I'm sure it must be very hard for her uh, in this sort of time and what she's going through. But um, Angel, you're amazing, and I know there's a lot out there like you. And that's what we're fighting for, to stop this sort of cruelty. I mean, she shouldn't be made to suffer any more than she already is. So shame on that hospital and shame on anybody who would wish more suffering on those who already are. Um, that really is what we're fighting against. She's a sweetheart and there's so many like her um, and it's just so wrong. So that's what we're doing. Check out her story at CannabisCulture.com and check her out on Facebook and elsewhere. And now I'll do a quick move over to our draw as usual with a free mark hoodie. This is what we're going to be giving away. Nice and cozy and warm as the winter season is still here. And that's going to come with four different free mark stickers that you can put anywhere, everywhere. Uh, to get the word out about Mark. 
because as I always say, it's not just about bringing awareness to Mark, it's so people can look up his story and realize the insane extremes that the government is willing to go to, to silence those who make a difference and to stop peaceful activism like Mark was doing. And so Mark represents many in prison who don't have a name and a face, and that's what we try and bring attention to every day. Uh, because I know people there who have 10 years, I've met with Mark, uh, 10 years for cannabis and much worse sentences than he has. So we're always grateful for the blessing that he will be coming home in about two years. Um, but it's always heartbreaking to see that there are many others who aren't coming home that soon and might not come home at all. Um, and again, more reason of why we fight. So. Out of this week's draw, I got 40 entries. I didn't promote the show that much on Facebook or Twitter, but better odds for those of you who did enter. <laughs> so, one person is going to get this free mark hoodie, and that's going to be, oh, Cole, Cole Clark. You've been entering every single time. Um, he says, good to see you on Mar Man Marijuana Man's show on Wednesday. That's our live show with Marijuana Man and Al the Alchemist on Wednesday. So check out Pot TV for more. Um, but Cole, you finally won. I was thinking it this morning. I was like, that guy has been entering all the time. So you're going to get the hoodie. And I also still have, this is from my very first draw that I ever did. I got medicinal shirts. These are limited edition from Jeff Tech. He's the husband of the late Michelle Rainey, who passed away in 2010, um, longtime activist and friend and fellow, um, along with Greg and Mark, she was also facing extradition and life in prison. But these medicinal shirts are very popular, get the message around. I still have a few left. There's only a few certain sizes, so hopefully it'll work. But I'm going to use that as the bonus draw. And whoever wins, if you know, these are all women's shirts, by the way, so I only have women's uh, available. But if you're the winner, hopefully you can find a female who uses medical marijuana who can appreciate and wear that shirt with pride. So the winner is going to be Daniel C. He loves what me and Mark Emery do for the legalization of marijuana. So thanks for entering and watching the show, Daniel. I'm going to get that t-shirt sent out to you with some free Mark stickers as well. And Cole, I'll get your hoodie out too. I don't know what I'm going to give away next week. I, I'm going to leave it up in the air. It's always a good standby to go with the free Mark hoodie. But uh, let's go for a wild card and I'll draw something special and maybe a t-shirt. I don't know. I'll figure it out next week. But if you want to enter for some random prize, we'll switch it up a bit. Uh, please send an email to Jody at CannabisCulture.com and tune in next week for the draw. Thanks so much for tuning in, and as always, check out CannabisCulture.com store where you can get bubble bags and books and magazines and clothes and all sorts of goods. And if you don't get anything online, try to make a trip down to our store here in Vancouver. And hey, April 20th is coming up. It's just over a month, and it's always a great time to come to Vancouver. We're going to have a special guest doing a reading and a book signing. Lisa Kirkman is going to be showing off and reading from her book Sex Pot, recently released, and that's going to be on Saturday the 21st here at the BCMP in Cannabis Culture Headquarters, and I'll have more details about that in the shows to come. So start planning your trip to Vancouver. It's something you've never seen before if you haven't been yet. Uh, check out 420 Vancouver videos online, and in the coming days, 420vancouver.com is going to be live. So stay tuned for that and all sorts of other updates. Thanks for watching the show. I wish you all the best in your battles and your struggles, and always remember that even if you feel alone wherever you are, if you feel like you're not making much of a difference with whatever actions you're taking, remember that you're part of a massive whole, a huge group made up of literally millions of people all around the globe, all in this together. So never think that your efforts aren't worth it because there's a road to victory and a road to peace, and each one of us who lays a brick at least played a part in getting people to that end goal. So. Keep up the good work, everyone. Thanks for your messages of support. Send Mark a letter and check out freemark.ca. Take care.